Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at embedding OCX applications inside VA Smalltalk Windows. And to do this, I'm going to create a small example app. So we'll hit OK on this. And we'll get the composition editor up. And once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the Olay controls. And instead of having the Olay client, what we want is the OCX control. So we want this middle one. We'll drop that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this to be as big as this window so that the uh, control I'm going to put in here fits properly. Double click. And over here, here's where I want to go. Client name. I want to pick the OCX control. Now, this is going to vary based on what you happen to have installed. And if you're creating your own control, you, of course, have to go through the whole registration process, which is well beyond the scope of these screencasts. But I'm going to go down, and I'm going to pick something simple like Windows Media Player. Now, once I've picked the control, to get the specific things in for this, I have to close this and reopen it. Once that's there, you see that this repainted in the background. And now there's some additional control uh, aspects here that are specific to this guy. So I'm going to come down here to URL, and I'm going to put in the URL for one of my podcasts so that I have something to play. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to go to File, Test. And you see that it's buffering. And there it's starting to play. You probably can't hear this, but you can see something happening here. This is just one of my gaming podcasts. So you can see that it's loaded in, and it's running inside a BA Smalltalk window. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.